I made the fake food that you see in Japanese restaurant windows, and now I'm hungry. Sony just dropped some big news about their next generation display system featuring individual RGB LED backlight control. That means each pixel gets its own dedicated red, green, and blue RGB light source. Those are your primary colors, instead of relying on a single backlight illuminating the entire screen. Hey, what's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I recently went to Japan with Sony to check out all of their newest TV tech. I have been to Japan several times on my own already, but this experience with Sony was so incredible and fantastic. I had so much fun going out there with them to Tokyo because I got to experience brand new things that I have never gotten to see before. regular fortune. And today we're diving into some of the things that I got to see in person. We're gonna talk about some next level TV tech that Sony just announced. So we're talking crazy bright colors, a ridiculously high peak brightness, and you know that I love hyping brightness, I'm all about it. And it sounds really cool, but how does it actually work? Well, this setup means more accurate colors, deeper blacks, and an ultra wide color gamut that covers over 99% of the standard color space that's usually used in cinema. Also, it can hit over 4,000 nits peak brightness. That's like retina burning brightness territory. I'm totally here for it. Okay, I'm kidding. It's not gonna burn your eyeballs out, but it is really bright. But before we get too hyped on all of this news, let's break down how this actually works in a way that's not gonna make your eyeballs melt. Now, if you like hearing about tech broken down into regular human speak, then subscribe. Subscribing is totally free. It supports my non-sponsored content. It's super easy peasy. And also a big Patreon shout out to to Ronnie, Joseph, Bertel, Petey, Ryan, and Robert. You can join them and support my channel by going over to patreon.com slash Shannon Morse for perks like early video access and my private Discord. As usual, all the videos on my channel are free to watch and I thank my YouTube members and patrons for making that possible. Okay, let's talk about what makes this display system so special. Imagine your typical TV screen, whether it's OLED or LED, it has a backlight or self-lit pixels to create the colors. But in standard LED TVs, the backlight is one big panel, meaning that all of the colors blend together before they hit your eyeballs. That's why older TVs sometimes look washed out or why blacks might look a little bit more dark gray than truly black. Sony's new display system does something totally different. So instead of relying on a single backlight for the technology, they have packed in these teeny tiny, and they, trust me, they are tiny. Like I looked at these things close close up in person and they are teeny tiny. They're densely packed independent RGB LEDs that can light up separately. So subtle differences in the hues or the lighting are going to come across in the way that it was meant to be from production of the TV or the movie to your actual TV screen, even bigger TV screens. So that's gonna mean more precise color control. So no more weird color bleeding. Each and every single color is going to be controlled separately for more accuracy, better black levels. Since there's no single giant backlight, dark areas stay truly dark without that annoying halo effect. This is really noticeable whenever you're watching a movie with like street lights and it's supposed to be a really dark movie, but the street lights make a halo effect. Peak brightness where it actually matters, instead of just cranking up brightness for the whole screen, Sony's tech dynamically adjusts brightness per scene for more natural lighting. 
So one way you can think about that is if you're watching a sci-fi movie with a bunch of stars, like the outer space scenes in Interstellar. Sony's tech won't just turn up the brightness for the entire screen as a whole. It will only brighten the stars while keeping the deep black of space intact. Color gradation will play nice with the tech in the TV, so like a cherry blossom tree is supposed to be really bold and vibrant pink. It's still gonna have those bold, vivid pinks, and it's not gonna get washed out against the backdrop. In a lot of cases with like vivid colors, like reds, that's something even OLEDs have trouble doing. OLED also struggles with moderate brightness and saturation, meaning that some colors don't look as rich in certain lighting conditions. That's a struggle for my own living room because when the sun sets, the room is very bright in the summertime. There's certain windows in my household that don't even have blinds, so I can't really fix it. But the new Sony tech has this high speed signal processing that keeps the colors bold and vibrant. So who's gonna benefit from all this fancy display tech? Pretty much everybody, if you got a TV in your house, you'll benefit from it eventually. So like gamers, higher brightness, better contrast means deeper immersion, especially for HDR heavy titles. And the improved viewing angles mean no more color shift whenever you're viewing it from different angles. Like if you're playing a multiplayer game, it's gonna look better for everybody. If you're really into movies, I am, I love movies. I just recently watched Never Ending Story again. It was awesome. But this is actually filmmaker approved technology. Sony developed this system with color grading monitors in mind. So you see exactly what director is intended. And then you got your casual viewers. Even if you're just binge watching Netflix or YouTube, like you should be binge watching my channel, all my playlists on my channel. Or if you're like me and you're just binge watching the newest season of Love is Blind, that's totally fine too. Everything will look more lifelike with richer colors and true to life shading. So TLDR, the tech is really cool. It's not in stores yet. It's cutting edge stuff that we'll probably see in the first consumer TVs, maybe later this year, early 2026, that's my guess. But whenever it does drop, expect it to be pricey. It's gonna be brand new tech, but new tech always trickles down. So in a couple of years, we're gonna see mid-range TVs using the same technology. At least that's what I expect. Also, Sony is jointly working with MediaTek to develop processors for these TVs. So I'm I'm looking forward to hearing more about that too, because I like MediaTek technology. So that is the TLDR on this new RGB LED backlighting system from Sony. I think it's really cool and it was really amazing to see in person. If you have any questions, I can always follow up with more details and more information about this. And potentially, hopefully I'll be able to test this in person and give you reviews in the future when this technology is soon available. So drop a comment down below. Let's nerd out about display tech. It's not something that I usually get to nerd out about, but I just learned so much from this trip and I'm really excited to be able to like sponge up this new TV information and share it all with you. It's exciting. I nerd out about technology in real life. So I like being able to share that with you. So let me know if you want any more information, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all. You can't eat this, it's made out of wax. <laughs>